Art can be anything. Art can be anything that that a person creates. A person creates. You get inspired by a sound. You get inspired by. Sound. My name is uh, Rudy Gonzalez. I'm an artist in Chicago. You know, my career is. Uh, it's only been going on for the last. You know two two years you know i've had a couple of group exhibitions had one solo show over the last year so this whole uh artist thing is still uh, kind of uh, pretty new to me i did a lot of collage small collage pieces and i wasn't you know trying to you know put them on canvas at the time i, I started actually putting them that putting them out onto the street and then you know they'll just be like you know little five by five pieces that i would glue started gluing around the neighborhood you know on abandoned buildings and stuff like that and then as my work progressed into the studio then i started making my pieces bigger and larger and then the neighborhood also at the time I was going through some changes with a lot of street art you know local artists were putting stuff on the street and then it kind of made me want to do more of that so after I brought my work into the studio, started developing it a little bit better there, and then I'll take pieces of my work, blowing them up, and then putting them out onto, onto the streets. I usually start off just going through magazines, books, getting you know several images, a lot of you know bodies and body parts, heads, eyes. You know, I, I just uh, I just go through you know stacks of magazines, and my trusty Exacto knife is always right by my side, and you know I cut I cut everything out, scattered all over the table. And then, you know, individually, I just go down, put my head down and just start moving things together. That's the basis of my of my my pieces. And then and then I go to the canvas and that's when I start making like kind of the background and how the you know, the shapes and how the design, how it's all going to relate and interact with with the main collage image. The hardest thing for me is once I glue um, a collage together and that main image once it's on the canvas though there's no going back i can't take it back off the canvas at that point so i have to be you know very strategic prior to me you know getting the whole background together the design the layout the color is huge it's very important to, with my pieces i love color and all of that has to be perfect prior to, and then as soon as that's done then i put the collage piece on there and then there's little things I could do. I can tweak after I could paint around the collage, but ultimately, once the, the collage is on there, that piece is almost done. The design elements that you see, you know, the circles, the lines, the rectangles, all the shapes are, you know, those that's what I paint and that's what I add to to the images, to, you know, to make it one cohesive piece to, or, you know, to make them interact with each other. So it, it, it's a fine line. It, it gets a little tricky, you know, when you're dealing with collage and painting. But I think I've, I make the, the pieces more interesting as a whole when I add paint and shapes and, you know, colors, especially, you know, bright colors. You know, it, it makes it more of a, of a dynamic piece, I think, instead of just, you know, just a simple collage. One of my biggest inspirations is definitely comes from um, from my mother. She passed away, but before she passed away, leading up to you know she was she was sick for for a year prior to that. She saw my work, she saw what I was doing, and she you know she was rather impressed by my work. At the time, you know, it's like it's it's your mom. She's always gonna tell you that you know whatever you're doing is is good. But she sincerely believed that you know this is good work and. You need to keep doing it and you know she, she kept telling me to not be so shy about my work and you need to show it to people I think that ultimately is my my number one drive is you know my mom passed away she's not making artwork anymore but now I am so like the torch is kind of passed to me and I feel that you know every every time that I'm working on a piece or a painting you know I'm getting tired or I feel that like I can't go on or I think that the piece that I'm working on isn't good you know I kind of like there's something that I, I deep I dig deep down and I think of like my mom and I kind of think of what she would tell me to step back away from the painting or your work and she keeps me focused even though she's not here she is with me and she keeps me focused on you know on my painting and on my artwork and, and in life general you know she, she kind of keeps me going you know when I get upset or I get super stressed out you know I think of how she would um, coach me through it and be a mom and just you know get you through whatever difficult situation you're going through. I have a lot of people that ask me about uh, about my tattoos, especially the one on my arm. It's actually my birthday. I also have a, a hummingbird on my arm. My mom, uh, 
she was she loved birds. She followed birds. She always like all of her how her home. She has bird houses for certain types of birds. She knew all of them. She used to love going you know bird watching. But the most uh, fascinating bird that she she was interested in was uh, was a hummingbird. I'll, I'll, I'll say this from any artist, you know, if you're, uh, you know, a musician, visual artist, any artist, I think just stay focused and keep doing it. Don't get sidetracked over anything. Don't don't think about anything else but that. I, I'm a firm believer that if you focus in on your passion or something that you really want to do, that you can ultimately be successful at it. Just to stay focused and just learn and learn from other artists that are in the same craft as you, you know, whatever it is. and always be inspired don't don't think that your work is is the best work and don't think what you do is it you know you're not going to expand as an artist by doing that you have to be you know open minded and to look at other works and, you know and again you know if you're a visual artist a painter don't just look at paintings don't just you know look at street art go to music shows, shows you know there's, there's so many things you get inspired by a sound, sound that you hear, that you hear and you hear, could transform you that transform you know that. you could apply that visually just get your information from many sources just don't stick to you know one way where you kind of are inspired to look at several outlets of, of inspiration and and talk to people and take any feedback that you get negative or positive for me the most feedback that i enjoy to get with my art personal work is negative because then i can learn from that and then you know maybe oh maybe i could have done this to make something better or maybe you know adjust you know it's it's a learning process it's never a final thing you're never as an artist you're never um, final with what you're doing with your craft you're always learning you're always changing and it's always going to change and um, just stay at it <laughs>